All right, guys, so I'm actually going to go thrifting right now. I'm gonna go check out my favorite store here. <laughs> uh -huh. Right here, yes, the big G, the big G, Goodwill. This is my neighborhood one, and I've always had luck here. So let's check it out, all right? Stay tuned. So let's go inside. Let's check it. Yeah, yeah. Good for you. Where's that tennis section now? Looks like it's over there. Let's go take a look. See all the lights. It's really cool. Everything is on. Here we are. Oh my gosh. Let's take a look. Oh, what the heck? Hey guys, do you need a tennis buddy? Want some more tennis friends? Have you guys considered play your court? You can find over 27,000 players out there, coaches and playing partners. That's playercourt.com forward slash tennis spin. Whoa, what the, off the bat, man. Wilson, ENCODE, Pro Staff, 90. Off the bat, $14.99. That is crazy that it's up front and center. That grip has definitely seen better days. $14.99? Eh. Back in the day, that was like 5 to 10 bucks. But made in China. Eh, looks to be in pretty good condition. We'll put it aside for now. See what else we got here. Oop, let's throw it over here. Wilson Surge 5.1, 100 square inch head, 9.9 .9 ounce racket before strings, 14.99. Also, looks like it was pretty strong. Got that W stencil on it. Again, grip has seen better days. Check out the butt cap. All right, uh, no, that's not a Rafa. It's a Rafa Aluminum Junior 25. And that's not a Radical, it's a Junior. Andy Murray Special Edition with a Yonex dampener on it. <laughs> Another Head Junior, Babylon Junior. Another head junior, another Wilson junior. It's like a shark junior in the back. Is that a Yamaha? Yamaha Secret 04, $6.99. Whoa, that's where it was strung. Man, now that I got a few of these, I keep finding them. <laughs> That's in pretty good condition. That grip has definitely seen better days. Six ninety nine. Yeah. If I didn't have a few of these already, I'd probably pick this one up. Made in Singapore. Hey, look, it's missing the uh, the butt cap sticker with all the arrows. Oh, that's not gonna hold there. I'll put it off to the other side. What is this? Wilson Sledge Hammer. Whoa. Fourteen ninety nine. This was like a favorite amongst the older crowd in the nineties into the early to mid two thousands there. Look at that head. Looks like it's in great shape. The all black butt cap. 
$14.99. I think I'd get it if it was like five bucks, but. Eh. All right. Pro Staff, 5.5 five, five, five five SI. <laughs> I love the color of this racket. Unfortunately, it's not one of my favorites. It's got that tapered beam, 95 square inch head. I deem this line and the 4.5 one of the worst rackets they ever made and called Pro Staff. Made in Taiwan with the white butt cap. Wow, the Taiwan days. Now that is a racquetball racket. That's the cover. Ooh, you can get a cover with that 5.5. Head Junior, more Juniors, another Junior. What is that back there? Looks like a head racket. Let's try to get there. If you need a Junior racket, guys, <laughs> Goodwill is definitely the place. That's where they get turned in. This thing is... Whoa, it's a head racket for sure. It's tapered. It reminds me of an old Elantra, if you guys know what that is. It's kind of purplish, silverish white. And look at that fat throat. And it tapers down. They want what for this? It's like 20 bucks. Whoa, that thing's not worth it. It's like worth a couple bucks at most. See the head underneath? Yeah. Let's see what's back here. I've seen a few of these. It's aluminum. That head guards off center, but it slides to the center. Um, they want what for this thing? It's like about eight or nine bucks. Um, that is aluminum, guys. It is circa 19... 70 something into the early 80s. Uh, I thought, I think it's a Spalding racket, but I'm not 100% sure. As you can see, it is interesting. It's got an H on the bottom. I'm not quite sure what that H stands for. Let me know if you guys know. But let's get these things back hung up. And reorganize for the next person. Oh, look, there's a fox cover down there. What's in there? Looks like a wooden racket. What do we got? It is a Imperial. It's a Tad Imperial wooden racket. Wow, I love the colors of the Kind of mahogany-esque wood. What do they want for this thing? Six bucks. I'll probably get it for a dollar. But you can see the Tad nameplate on the bottom. We'll get back to that one. Another cover here, Prince 03. Let's see what's inside. It's a squash racket. <laughs> okay. Wow, who plays squash anymore? I think it's pretty popular in the East Coast, but out here in the West Coast, um, at least where we are, there might be only two or three courts left. Head, no, another head junior down there with a cover. Purple. <laughs> we'll hang it up. All right. Look, we got a basket of balls with the basket itself. Wow. Yeah. Guys, if you want to teach your kid, this is the place. Get a basket of balls with the balls and you get a kids racket 
All right, let's get back to these rackets and see what uh, I might grab here. Okay, so the wooden racket, the Tad Imperial, looks to be a little beat up, a little worn off at the top. Eh, I've seen better ones for a couple bucks. I'll pass on that one. Yep, I deemed this racket one of the worst rackets ever made by Wilson. <laughs> this and the 4.5 that was black. The colors were great, but... <clears throat> Sledgehammer! I would definitely get this if it wasn't 15 bucks. <laughs> but the racket's probably 20 years old or more. And... Uh, eh aren't many people who play with these anymore these days yeah, pass that surge is interesting if it was a couple bucks I'd buy it just to donate it um, but if you know any aspiring tennis players out there 12 year old or, or need a serviceable good racket for 15 bucks that's good it's better than anything you're going to get for that price. That 90 is probably the one I'm going to buy. Yeah, it looks to be in pretty good shape. It'd be better if it was like 5 or 10 bucks. That Yamaha... If I didn't get a couple of them already this year, I'd probably pick this up. Look, synthetic gut, guys. <laughs> oh, and there's a nick right there. Not a crack, but it might be the beginning of the end. Grip has definitely seen better days, but hey, what do you expect? It's probably been sitting around for 20 years in somebody's garage. All right, let's... Uh, Let's pick up the 90 and start walking. <laughs> Looking at the penguin box down there now. Yeah. Do I want this 90? Yeah. Wait, what is that? It's Justin, whoa, remember that guys, talking about 20 years ago, no strings attached, Justin Timberlake, ladies and gentlemen, got all the plushies and the toys and the books, all those great stuff you can find, all next to the tennis rackets. Especially like the curling irons and the blow dryers. Yeah, what does that have to do with tennis? <laughs> Why is it next to the tennis rackets? Let's look at the front here. Check out the front counter. We got Hermione Granger's um, wand with all these cool shoes that they don't want you to touch. Check out those Jordans. This is where we got some Ultra Boost up front. Uh, Hoka's even. So this is the stuff that uh, you have to ask for the shoe and uh, they'll give it to you to look at and if you want to buy it. So, but we'll end it here. I'll pick up that racket um, and uh, we'll check it out. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.